Greetings, students. Today we're going to discuss practice test eight for pre-algebra. Let's begin. Question one. When x equals negative eight, we replace x with negative eight. This becomes negative two times by negative eight plus six. A negative times a negative is a positive. So this will be equal to 16 plus six will equal 22 as our finished answer. Question two. All of the numbers stay the same until the two, because the two is the one underlined. So I've got one, I've got four, and I've got three. And now to evaluate whether the two becomes a three or stays a two, we look at the number after it. So because it's followed by a number greater than or equal to five, it's followed by an eight, a number that's greater than or equal to five, we will round the two up into a three. And the rest of these numbers become zeros. Question three, we're going to diagonally multiply five times seven and nine times two, after which we will add them together. So that will be 35 plus 18, which will equal 53. The denominator here is going to be the product of nine times seven, the product of the two given denominators. 263. All right, on the right hand side here, graph the lines. So here I'm asking you to plot the lines. They are in slope intercept form. So over there, the form y is equal to mx plus b. So this last number is what's called the y intercept. And this first number was what's called the slope. So m here is 2. In other words, the slope is 2, and the y-intercept is negative 3. So for this first line, question 7, I'm going to start at negative 3, 1, 2, 3, on the y-axis. I'm going to go up 2 and over 1. That'll be the line right there. For the second line, my m is negative 1 fourth, and my b is positive 3. So I will start at positive 3 on the y-axis, 1, 2, 3, and I'll go down 1 and right 4. I believe that's 4 to the right, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, there's 4 to the right, right there, actually, this one. And I connect the dots. Again, when you're graphing these, there is some leniency to where the lines go. I'm looking for mainly the slopes and the intercepts, the m and the b's, slopes and intercepts. And then um, the secondary portion is the graph afterwards. Distribute. So here I'm going to take negative 2 times by negative 3x plus negative 2 times by 8. So this will be positive 6x minus 16 in terms of value. Combine like terms. We're going to combine the ones with x. So they're both negative, negative 12 and negative 11. So they're the same signs they'll add to make negative 23x. The minus 6 will be at the end. All right, the bottom here. We have some evaluate and some writing descending order. And I've got on the solve for x question. So the evaluate question, we're going to take 8 minus 12. That's negative 4. And I'm going to add 9, that's positive 5. 8 minus 12, again, the 12 is bigger than the 8, so this is why this is negative 4. Then negative 4 plus 9, the 9 is bigger than the 4, so this is why it's positive 5. Opposite sign subtract, but keep the sign of the bigger. Here I'm going to multiply negative 4 times by 7, I'm going to get 28. It's going to be positive 28. It's going to be 12 plus 28, which will be 40. Here I'm going to get 11 squared, which is 121. And then I'm going to subtract that from 9, which is going to be negative 112. And then I'm going to subtract 15 from negative 112 to get negative 127. That's my finished difference. Descending order means put the x first, put the constant at the end. So put the 8 at the end, it's positive 8, so 
plus 8 and put the minus 5x at the start. Minus 5x plus 8. Same deal here, put the uh, 10 at the end, and it's a plus 10, followed by the negative 8x in front of it, and then the positive 3x squared in front of it. So I don't have to write the positive with the 3x squared because it starts off as the, it's the start of the expression, but I could put the plus there because the 3x squared is positive. Question 13, we're subtracting 4 from 9 to get 5. And then we're timesing 5 by 6 to get 30. So here will be 30 in value. All right, let me set up the next page. And we're back. Questions 14 through 25 now. Question 14, we're going to add 10 to both sides. These are opposite signs, negative 6 and positive 10, so they will subtract. And I'll yield x is greater than 4. Opposite signs subtract. Question 15, we're going to divide by negative 2. 10 divided by negative 2 is negative 5. Now that will flip the sign around. It'll become a greater than symbol. Because it's um, dividing by a negative. Question 16, we're going to subtract 8 from 26. That's going to yield 18. And then we're going to divide 2 into 18. That's going to yield a 9. Again, we're dividing by positive 2 there. So that will be a positive 9 in value. Right on the right here, doing question 20. 24 is 8 times 3. And 80 is 8 times 10, so our greatest common factor is 8. They're both, in other words, multiples of 8. Our least common multiple is going to be 8 times 3 times 10. So 8 times 3 is 24, and then when you times by 10, you move the decimal over once. So that's 240, our least common multiple. All right, input-output tables. I'm asking you to substitute the value in for x and to figure out what the y is. So x here becomes negative 1. 3 times negative 1 plus 2. Negative 3 plus 2 is equal to negative 1. So this one is negative 1 in value. Then I'm asking you to put in 0. Now when you put in 0, that is in fact the y-intercept. When I say put in 0 for x, I'm just saying put give me the y-intercept out. So this is 0 plus 2, this is 2. And then put in 1 for x. 3 times 1 plus 2. 2, this is 5. Notice here that the slope is 3, so the y values are increasing by 3 each time. So negative 1 to positive 2 to positive 5, whereas the x values are increasing only by 1 because my slope is positive 3 over 1. 3 over 1. So, so x is increasing by 1 each time the y is increasing by 3. All right, let's look at the bottom here. 17 through 25. So question 17, I'm going to subtract 7 from negative 13. That's going to yield a negative 20. Then we divide by negative 5. That's going to yield 4. Now because I did divide by a negative, I should flip the inequality into a greater than symbol. So that should be greater than or equal to negative 4. Positive 4, sorry. Because negative 20 negative 5, when they divide both negative, make it positive. Question 18, subtracting 2x from 8x will yield 6x. Adding 5 to 19 will yield 24. Dividing 6 into 24 will yield 4. All right, question 22, substituting negative 1 in for x. So negative 2 times by negative 1 minus 4. So this is 2 minus 4 negative 2. Putting 0 in for x, negative 2 times by 0 minus 4, so this is 0 minus 4, this is negative 4. And putting 1 in for x, negative 2 times by 1 minus 4, 
negative 2 minus 4, this is negative 6. All right, the, uh, question 19. 12 is 4 times 3, and 40 is 4 times 10. My GCF is 4. Those are both multiples of 4. And my LCM is 4 times 3 times 10, 120, 12 times 10. All right, associated properties, when you move the parentheses, letter F. Commutative is when the numbers change spots. Letter C, zero is when you multiply by zero. Letter D, inverse is when you add the opposite. Letter E, distributive is when you eliminate the parentheses. Letter B, and the identity is when you add zero. Letter A. All right, so this is our test. Test number eight for pre-algebra. Good luck.